G'day, how you going? I'm Ian Aplis, your acrylic guru. Welcome to my Friday Night Live episode 112. Today, in today's show actually, I want to get through a few people and give them a shout out and a big thank you for their support in the last month. And I have a couple of questions that came in. And while you, if you're in the live show, not the repeat, but the live show and you have any questions, it's designed for you to ask away and message me in there and I get them straight away back to you okay before I get started though I just need to do a quick sound check just to make sure that everything's working okay so bear with me a minute while I do that okay. and um don't want to go halfway through the show and I realize that I've got no sound that'll be awkward wouldn't it all right so and then I'll start acknowledging everybody in the room everyone that comes into the live chat I do my best to acknowledge everybody I want to thank all my members that follow me every month let's do a quick sound check eh? thank all my members that follow me every month there we go that was a quick and easy sound check one today eh? so at the moment we've got we've got a uh, got 10 people in the room for starters deborah haddison chastity root and janice burns see now look at deborah and janice they got that blue logo of a badge that's a badge of my face that changes colors every time you're in the members area. So they're members there. Members have those badges and they have special emojis. So if they hit the smiley face down the bottom, there's emojis there. And I've got some custom ones there they can use as well. Um, so I want to get through a few people to thank. Got some questions there. I'll wait for some more people to come into the room there. Uh, I haven't been on a while. I've been busy with real life things, getting things done and organised and helping people out and trying to earn some money. Have we all got your coffee? Good coffee. Now, it's Saturday morning here, 9, or it's, it's a little bit before 9 a.m. I've got to duck out after this show because I've got some other stuff to do on a building project I'm doing. And, yeah, so um, who else we got in here? We've got Jenny Winters, uh, Trisha Whistler. Hello, Ian, says Jenny. Uh, hey, good to see you. Hello, Ian. Good evening, Deborah, uh, Jenny Winters, Eva Cordova. Hello from Fresno, California. Cindy White, hello, how are you, Cindy White? Now, before we get started as well, I would like to say, if you're watching this on a desktop, because when you watch YouTube videos on a desktop, a mobile device or an iPad, the layouts are different. I mainly talk about my YouTube page layout for desktop purposes. So if you go down there, you'll see a join button. Hit that join button, you become a member of my YouTube channel. And like I said, you get emojis, badges, you get shout outs. You have the opportunity to send me one-on-one -on -one video calls if you need my assistance in any way there. And look at that beautiful Chastity Roots Cyber hugs and kisses to you, sweetheart, for your Super Chat donation. Much appreciated there, my dear girl. And Super Chat is enabled in my live show, so if you want to show your support there as well, feel free to hit the Super Chat logo down there. Uh, we've got Egna Riggs. Hello from Georgia. And the beautiful and the lovely and the one and only, oh, my goodness, Jerry Powell. How are you going, Jerry? Good to see you here. Now, let me hold off there on there while I get some questions and that. First, I want to thank Chastity Roots, Crystal Bass. Is it Bass? I can't read my own writing, my goodness. William Kenya, Holly Stinger, no, Stringer, sorry, uh, Lisa, Z Lisa Ziegler or Zegler. Kathleen Zachman, and who is that one there? Uh, Marianne Myrna. Thank you very much for your support in the last month. Now, they supported me in ways of becoming a patron. Links in the description below if you want to become a patron. Patrons get perks. They get to see early releases of photographs and um, videos of what I'm doing on YouTube. They get the early stuff. And then could be up to a month later, it finally comes out on YouTube. Um, there's um, PayPal donations there and also just simply supporting my content. So thank you very much to those people. And we have some questions here, like this one's from Teresa. How do you make an A3 size print into an A5 size? So I'm going from big to small. Well, depending what sort of programs you have in your computer, um, I've just got my basic one where I can bring a picture up 
and I can add a picture into it or I can add text to it or I can add all these fancy things. Now in there, I can shrink it to any size. So you pretty much have to go into your um, programs in your computer, whatever you're using there, and print it out to the desired size there. Normally, the footprint you see is an A4 size. And what I've done, I know there are quicker and easier ways to do it, but by memory, what I've done, there's my paper layout on the program there. It's an A4 size. But if I want to go bigger than that, I just stretch it beyond that bigger. And I'll put it over it, print it, move it along and print it. And I'm moving it over the footprint and printing it out. When it's printed out, I sticky tape it together and I'll have a larger or a smaller, let's say, traceable. Um, Prince, uh, someone, now I forgot to write their name down here. They want to know uh, what process I use for my prints. Do I photograph them unvarnished or varnished? When I'm photographing a painting and I know I'm going to want to make a print from it, I will not varnish it because I want it to be non-reflective. And I photograph it in a way that I do not have any light glaring across the image. And also that person, whoever it was, I forgot your name. I didn't write it down. I want to say hello to little buddy, little buddy there. He's a little, little helper on my channel there at times. And sometimes he can be a little nuisance. And Siobhan is asking, she wanted to look at the bullshit stick. Okay, so I've got that here. Who we got there? We've got another... Um, welcome to the Ianapolis Army. Uh, is that an O? I can't even pronounce that. How would you pronounce that? Siomon Nons. Can you try and spell that how it's pronounced? Because I'd love to pronounce your name. She just became a member, joined the join button. The first month is red. Second month is blue. The the colours change and so on. Now, if you go and hit the little smiley face emojis there, I'll just show you. There's Ianapolis emojis there. There's the bullshit one. There's the bang one. There's the Ianapolis, the guru one. And there's amazing one. Now, I'll set them off. They are now in the chat, okay? So how do I get back down there? Uh, how do I close that? No, no. Hide. Oh, I've just gone and hide the chat. I need to bring that back. Oh, no. Show chat. Here we go. There we go. Now, Janice Burns has just done it too. She's gone and hit all the... Uh, they're, they're the emojis you get alongside being in the members area. So if you want to say bullshit or bang or amazing or the word guru, you can find those emojis and put them up there like that. And also you get... Um, what else do they get? Yeah, like you get shout outs. So if I'm doing a live like today, Cinnamonsty, I'll, I'll try that for now. Here we go. Thanks for answering my question about water depth the other day. Your answer clear up. The concept your answer cleared up the concept for me thank you very much can you spell your name how you pronounce it please because i'm having trouble cinnamon sis so she just became a member so a big shout out to you and janice burns there she's a member there as well and also deborah hardis and big members there as well thank you very much now, here's the bullshit stick. Uh, Siobhan wanted to see the bullshit stick. It's just a T-square. I can lay it across or up and down my easel because I'm painting on a board for filming purposes. And I have an edge against it. Because I have a board on my table easel, I can put this against the board. I have a screw against it, keep it hovering off the painting under there so it's not sitting on it. And I can use this to get horizon lines or anything straight. Or if I need to go that way, it's just a T-square I've made up. And I call it a bullshit stick. Someone did comment, what does um, the bullshit effect mean? Or what does a bullshit do? It's just my way of saying, wow. Instead of saying, wow, that looks good. It's like, bullshit, does that look good? It's just my way of saying, wow. Uh, Jerry Powell, yeah, little buddy, drank your coffee the other day, didn't he? He's a little bugger. Yes, he is. Uh, 
Oh, there you go. Cinnamon. Yeah, but your name on your thing there is cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon. It's with a S. Cinnamon. Okay. Simple. Cleared that up, didn't it? Cinnamon. So welcome, Cinnamon. Thank you for becoming a member there. So they were the questions I got there. And I also, if you're watching the replay, simply comment below if you have a question and you want me to answer in my next Friday Night Live. And they all, they all do get acknowledged. And if you come alive into the chat like Cinnamon and everybody else, Janice Burns, you get shout-outs as well in the live. Because this is all about me connecting with my followers. Uh, for Scotty, S for Scotty and Cinnamon. Oh, so Scotty Cinnamon, there we go. Now, Noreen Bridgman sent me in a message as well for Q&A, and she wanted to know, do you ever condition your canvas? What would you recommend for canvases that are not great quality? Uh, the only conditioning I do is when I'm blending my skies, you see me mix up the soft acrylic white paint which i call craft paint it's just a soft body paint and i mix that up with the uh, retarder i mix that up depending on the climate because it could be drier or uh, damper weather but that keeps the paint wet longer it stops it from drying quicker and i condition my canvas with that only if i'm doing a sky with some lots of beautiful smooth charismatic blending that's the only conditioning I do. Or if I've got a raw surface, let's say a board or something I'm going to paint on that's got nothing on it, I will prime that with gesso ready to take a painting. Okay, that's what I would do. Every artist is different as well. Uh, question two, uh, I'm using, uh, am I using too much retarder as sometimes it's still wet hours after? Well, if you... Don't mind it being wet. That's what it's doing. It's keeping it wet longer. Uh, but sometimes you want to do a retarded area where you're blending in that. You might want to dry it so you can paint over a section. Normally, I do not use the retarder. Let's say a sky. I wouldn't paint my whole sky on the canvas and try and paint over that because it could. what it does, you can dig into it and lift it up and dig into the white, and it gives you all sorts of grief. So I only paint that over the area that I need it to be. But you may be using a bit too much. Experiment with it and see. Uh, use a bit less. And if it's working for you without using that much, that's fine. That's all you need to do. Okay, Cinnamon. There we go. Mary Ham. G'day. Another member there. Mary Ham. She's a red member. Thank you very much. She must have just joined. Uh, welcome to the um, the army there. Hello from South Texas. We got. Kali Carrera, is it Carrera? I've read this name before and I always stumble across it. Carrera, Carrera, Kelly Carrera. Glad I wasn't the only one wondering how to say that name. Well, we now know, hey, it's just S. Cinnamon. It's like Aaron, A. Aaron. You just, it can be pronounced different. Laura Allison, g'day, Laura. Welcome to the show there. Another member of mine. Thank you very much for being a member. Um, where else was I? Oh, so that's, I hope that answered your question there, Noreen Bridgman. Um, what is the name of the and consistency of the paint I see uh, you using? out of those little bottles well i've just so happened to have a little bottle here and i'm assuming this is what you're talking about noreen okay now that is the same paint i use in the tubes atelier the only difference is if you see on the bottle it says free flow meaning it's softer flowing paint so instead of grabbing the thicker stuff out of the tube Sometimes I grab this in the colour I'm going to use for detailing, like the paints you normally want to add water to, to wet them a bit, to get them to stick to your canvas better, to transfer. Well, you can get colours in acrylic, in Atelier in free flow, meaning it's just softer and runnier, and I buy that for that purpose. So it's the same paint, the Atelier. It's just in a bottle. Um, it has a yellow label at the top. That just says, don't be an idiot. Give it a good shake. Mix it all up in there like that. Sometimes I forget, but sometimes when I see the label, I go, oh, I better shake it. 
And, um, yeah, so that's all that is, the same paint but different consistency, okay? So they're mm -hmm. wonderful. Who else do we have down here? Hello from Texas, said Mary Ham. Read that one. Hello, everyone. Laura Allison. Dee G'day, Dee Dee. How you going? Uh, Kylie Creerer. You always say my last name right, Ian, which I found rare because no one usually gets it. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you for that. Janice Burns, another um, member there. Hello, Dee Dee, she says. Hope you had a great New Year, says Keely. Yes, I had a great way. You need my year, my year is still happening, and it's great because I'm sitting here talking with you, Mob. How's that? Mary Ham, Mary Ham. What is the difference between wetting agent and retarder? Retarder simply extends the the wet life of your paint. Uh, now let's do that another way. Acrylic paint, this is the best way. You got oils and acrylics. Oils, you put oil onto a surface, and if anything, it's, it's behavior is going to do that, okay? With acrylics, you put that onto a surface, boom, it's there. Sometimes you've got to use additives to make it flow. Free, free flow is one thing. It'll help your flow, get rid of your brush strokes out of it because acrylic can show brush strokes. Uh, now, the difference between a wetting agent and retarder, probably I'm, I've never used a wetting agent, but wetting, I'm, I'm assuming you think you're just adding water to get it more inky to transfer from your brush to your canvas, but retarder stops it from drying quicker. So it, 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 it slows down the drying time of your acrylic paints because acrylic paints, they can dry quite quick, a lot quicker than oils. Oils can take days and weeks and sometimes months to dry where acrylics depending on the weather and the consistency and the type of quality acrylic paint you got they can dry within minutes so the retarder added that to your paint keeps it wet a lot longer jennifer smith hello from northern canada g'day Janice for smith we got chucky there chucky g'day chucky you say hey in hope you and your family are doing well. I'm stuck on a picture I'm painting. It's a field of pines with wildflowers and the picture is missing something. What do you do when you get stuck? Well, I'm assuming by what you're explaining there, only what I can assume, is it might be missing the darks, the shadows. But if you're a member of my art group, post it in there and tag me in it and I'll be able to let you know. Then ask me the question in a comment on your post. And if you're not a member of my art group, simply go to the link below. There's about 12 links there and you be quest to become a member of my art group. Now, I'll just go through the links in my underneath my video here if you're watching on a desktop. Um, there's the join this channel link. So or you can hit the join button below. Uh, that's to become a member of my art group. Keep a look out on my community page as well. It's pretty much like a Facebook feed. I, I put stuff up there as well. Now there's a donate here link, which is simply a PayPal link. That's what you use when you want to buy the blending brushes that I use, or if you want to purchase one of my paintings, they're simply done through PayPal. And that's the PayPal link there. And a lot of people do just send support and donations through there as well. There's the merchandise link, cups, socks, shirts, all sorts of merchandise there. There's my Instagram, which I hardly ever use. Uh, there's my Facebook page. So if you're, if you're a member of my Facebook, I mean, if you're a member of my YouTube channel and you're scratching your head and you go, hang on a minute, I'm going to take advantages of the perks that I've got. I can message Ian, and if it's too much, I can even send a video call and speak one-on-one -on -one to get out any problems you may have about paints or your painting or something like that. You have these perks, so be aware of what perks you've got. And like the patrons have perks as well. They get early releases of my videos and my pictures there and my paintings. There's the patron link, which I just talked about. There's my videos link there. If you hit that, it'll take you to all my YouTube videos. I have about 470 odd videos on my in my YouTube library. There's a link there that'll take you to my art that's available to purchase. My YouTube paintings are for sale. Uh, so you can always just message me and say, listen, I want to buy such and such a painting. And we correspond about purchasing that painting. And they're done through PayPal as well. 
Uh, there's my Ianapolis Art Network. That's my Facebook group page. That's where you request to become a member. There's the bloopers. There's the traceables relating to my YouTube tutorials there and there's also a google translator link there now that one detects the language so if you find a language you're not sure what it is you copy and paste it put it in there and it detects it and translates it for you straight away uh chucky uh jerry powell here we go what brand is the perylene green you use it's beautiful and rich looking if you can tell me guru i appreciate it oh I think it's Windsor and Newton. I'm not 100% sure, but if you ask Noreen Bridgman or Teresa Alfonso, they have sent me tubes of that. It's exactly the same, both the same tubes. They will be able to tell you what brand it was. I would have to go and run out into my studio, grab it and have a look, but I just can't simply do that. So I can let you know by a message as well. Uh, Dee Dee, hello, Jennifer Smith from Northern Ontario, Canada. Wind chill is 39 degrees minus here. Oh my goodness, that's so cold, isn't it? Eh? Well, we're hitting 30 degrees above here. Laura Lou, g'day Laura Lou. See, she's got the, um, she's a member and she's used the uh, emoji. She's saying bullshit, lol. Just turned in, just tuned in and the emoji popped up. You've been putting out a lot of that BS lately, Ian. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Sherry Williams. G'day, Sherry Williams. Welcome to the show there. Or the show here, sorry. Uh, Sherry Williams. Hello, Ian. Happy New Year from freezing cold Jackson. I'm assuming that's New Jersey, USA. Welcome, uh, Sherry. <clears throat> that weird guy, you know. Now, you did tell me your name, I think, one time, and I I can't remember it, but that weird guy, you know. Hello there, everybody. Glad I made it in time for the live stream. I'm going to watch for as long as I can before I have to go play hockey. Good on you there, Cobber. What have we got, 20 people in the room? Hit the thumbs up. Um, Jennifer Smith. I recently switched oils to acrylics. Good stuff. Good move, I reckon. Um the struggle I have with acrylics is getting a nice soft blend. Could you suggest would be helpful? That's why I use the Retarda and Craft Paint. If you look at some of my skies, look at the thumbnails and look at the skies and think, yeah, that's what I'm after. Watch that tutorial and see how it was done. It's very easily simply explained in my videos, but you simply... Follow those steps there, uh, Jennifer. Laura Anderson, what is the difference, she's another member, between Windsor Newton and Titanium White Mixing White? Windsor Newton, um, Windsor and Newton is a brand of paint. It's like Atelia, that's a brand of paint. Uh, what's the difference between that brand and Titanium White Mixing White? I don't know. I've never used Mixing White, uh, but I'm assuming they're just two totally different brands. Uh, done, says Laura Lou. Okay. Um, now, once again, I want to shout out to Chastity Roots, Crystal Bass, William Kenya, Holly Stringer, Lisa Zeigler, Kathleen Zagbin, and Marianne Mooner for your support in the last month. Thank you very much for that and much appreciated. Uh, that weird guy, you know, you, you, we all have that weird guy we know. Eh? Well, unfortunately, I'm that weird guy that everyone knows. Hi there, Ian. I have a question. Good stuff. That's what this show is all about. I love it when the questions come in. And if I can answer it, I'll bloody well will. But if I can't, I'll ask somebody else more smarter in the chat that can answer it. Because I'll tell you this for nothing. I don't know everything. How do you dispose of your acrylic paints? Uh, how do you suppose of your acrylic paint waste water? I've seen your old videos, 15, cleaning up and chat, but that was cleaning the brushes. Thanks. Good question there. Like me, me palettes, it, it scrapes up. I, I let me palette dry until I'm going in there the next time to use it. I'll spray it with Windex. I'll use a blade scraper. I'll scrape it up, and I, it's just like, crumbled up plastic, really, acrylic plastic. Uh, and I throw that in my little tidy bin. Uh, 
Uh, my brushes, um, I wipe out the, the bulk and I rinse that down my, um, I have a, in my studio, I have a kitchen sink, but it's just the, the, the PVC pipe is S-bended and plumbed out underneath because it's a stumped floor, it's a risen floor, and that flows out the backyard and it just drains into my garden there. It's non-toxic, so it's just draining into my garden. If anything does go down your sewer, well, I don't think it's going to be the end of the world because we all poo and wee in the toilet and a bit of acrylic paint won't hurt, but so long as it's not too much, all right? Mary Ham. So for clouds, do we be using craft white instead of heavy body? Well, there's another good question, and I jump on that a lot. No. I'm constantly using just the craft white and the retarder to put onto the canvas ready to do our blending. Now, the sky colours, whether it's blue, greys, magentas and reds and yellows and oranges, no retarder. When you're putting the clouds on, no retarder. I'm using that beautiful thick body paint out of the tube. I'm putting it on and you can smear it and blend it. Now, I have just done a video um, how you can paint this cloud. It's only a short three-minute uh, video, but you can see how that cloud is produced by using the craft paint and retarder on the canvas and then your sky colours on there and you're ready to stamp on a cloud and manipulate it and tease it and stamp it and blend it. So you do not use craft white for the actual cloud itself. You can if you're desperate, but it would just be so weak and see-through -y and just doesn't have the grunt you need within a cloud. Sherry Williams, any word of wisdom on how to get mist or fog? Yes, depending on your paints, you have to think things like these questions. I love it because you know what? I'm going to show you just how easy it is to answer your own questions. Like Sherry Williams is going, a word of wisdom, how can I get mist and fog? Well, what you do, simply grab your cereal packet and turn it inside out, paint a colour, paint a couple of colours so you can see your fog and start practising how to do fog. Now, use the good white paint, let's say white paint, and um, use a brush you want to paint it with. Now, dab your brush into it, wipe most of the paint off, and start just dry blending, smearing very little on there, and see if you've got enough. If you haven't got enough, add some more. Do it with some wetter paint and see if wetter paint's going to work for you. And you're simply answering your own questions by just doing what you want to do, okay? Uh, that weird guy, very helpful info. Thanks for the answering my question, Ian. You're welcome, weird guy. Jerry Powell, we are getting snow here in coastal Virginia tonight. Jennifer, our guru method of using the retarder with soft body paint is perfect for blending and is a stable method. It is very stable. It doesn't break down or nothing. I've got paintings that are years old as long as I've started painting and there's nothing's broken down with those. Chucky. Okay, Ian, I've sent a picture on your art group. Thanks for your help. I'll have a look at that later on today. Who we got here? Break a leg. I would like to hear from your critical cameraman. I would like to hear from your critical cameraman. I'm not, I don't have a cameraman. Uh, you'll have to break a leg. You'll have to, more info on that question there. Get to the point a bit more because I'm not that bright, all right? I'm not stupid either. But anyway, Sherry Williams, what brush do you find works best for that dry method? I find, I use a little flat brush, but it's that old the hairs are sort of thickened out, so it's pretty much something like that, but smaller, like a detailed flat brush. You've seen me use it. Um, I obviously don't have it here, but something with a I, – I call that the footprint, this area here. Now, look at the footprint to the black brush to the yellow brush. The yellow brush has a thinner footprint, okay? Something with a – a flat brush that's worn with a wider footprint and you can use that just to get a bit of paint on there and start blending and making some mist. You're doing it in a dry blend, okay? That's how you can get some good mist. 
Um, Sherry Williams, what brush do you find? I, I read that one. There you go. Um, Adriana, hello, Adriana. Welcome to the show. Break a leg. That high pitched funny. Where are we? The high pitched funny guy in your blue. You mean that's little buddy. Little Buddy is a figment of my imagination. He is not a real person. It's actually me. But that's a figment of my imagination because we've all watched tutorials. We're learning to paint and you're sitting there watching the person paint and you might have a question, well, why? Why did you do that? And how come? Oh, yeah, fair enough. He's the little buddy that's asking those questions when I can remember okay throughout my tutorials and i also have bloopers but on the other side where the bloopers it's just me showing different camera setups and actually making the videos but little buddy he is a disgusting little rat bag he's a naughty bugger in there he's got a his mouth needs to be washed with soap hence why the bloopers have a big warning this video may offend watch at your own risk Okay, and if you're going to watch it and you don't like it, well, you've been warned, all right? But little Buddy, he's a terror. Okay, um, he's asking for little Buddy. That's right, yes. Uh, Adriana, hello again. Uh, if someone can please uh, translate that for me, the translate link is below. I cannot do that, unfortunately. That weird guy, huh? I love little Buddy, is in your recent videos yes he's in he's in quite a few uh he's in uh, a lot of the bloopers now as well and i have him sort of doing a lot of things like he pinches me coffee and he's fumbling around and he's knocks things and we have these silly little arguments in there it's crazy but it's all good fun it keeps your your spirits and your morals up it keeps your spirits up high while you're in that studio on your own not getting bored you're trying to make a happy life out of the occasion. Well, I am anyway. Um, little Buddy is a star, says Laura Lou. That was great fun, says Breaking Break a Leg. Uh, Mary Ham, Little Buddy is a hoot. Chucky, how's the room addition going for your friend? Yes, waiting on some. Um, that's where I'm going after this show. I've got to duck out there and meet another guy because the guy that did the slab. It's a little bit unlevel. I've got to get in there to level it up because he's already been paid to have it level and it's got to be level. So I've got to get out there and meet him. But we're, the roof trusses are getting built, so I'm waiting for them to be delivered next week. And once they're delivered, I'm going to start putting the roof and the ceiling onto that. It's a little um, studio apartment. It's like a hotel room in his own backyard. I quite like it, actually. You know when you go to a hotel room, but quite a big one. you got your room. In this one, you're going to have like a living area and a kitchenette, big bedroom and a big ensuite there. And it's going to be in his own backyard. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it's going to turn out. It's going to be all right in the end anyway. But I'll be putting um, progressive stages in my art group there of that. So for those people who are interested. But the roof will be going on next week. Hence, uh, pending on the weather, because we're going to have some 39 and 40 degree days next week. So if it's that hot, I won't be able to work. Um so that's that, Mary Ham. Um, any more questions here? Um, I'm not doing Friday Night Live every week, from, as you all know. Just get that out there. I admire you very much. Excuse me, the coffees make me burp like a burper. Uh, I admire you very much, says Sherry Williams. And you know what? I admire you too. I admire everybody that follows my channel and supports my content. People like me that have these channels... We need people like you to support our channels and keep them going and make them grow. And the best way to make them grow for me is to hit the thumbs up. Give me a comment, even if it's saying, you know what, Ian, I love what you're doing. Also write that in a comment. And also watch me ads. That helps me out a lot. If you can't afford support but you want to support me, watch my ads. Simple that weird guy. I know you've mentioned using black gesso to cover your uh, blackboard for your painting area. Uh, what size gesso bottle do you buy? How often do you get more? Well, there you go. It's a little trivial question. Um, it's about 500 millimeters, milliliters. Okay. It's a bottle about this big. Well, it's a plastic container, actually, and about 
that round and it's just black uh, black gesso and when I finished my tutorial in my studio there I've taken the canvas off and I simply repaint it ready for the next filming so it's all clean and black and it's just simply black so you're not seeing all the mess behind uh, some camera shots you do but it, it's for filming purposes uh sherry williams she also said you are a great artist okay well sorry for missing that out well thank you very much there sherry williams uh oh she translated oh i admire you very much uh that is the translation oh <laughs> I thought Sherry Williams was saying she admired me, but it was that other person that we needed, um, uh, Adriana, Ariana, Adriana, Grande, uh, yeah, something like that. Uh, okay, well, thank you very much for that. Uh, thumbs up, everybody, says Jerry Powell. Uh, Sherry Williams, yes, I did translate it. I do too. <laughs> Yeah, I've got to read things properly. That's why sometimes just if you're in a live, because not everyone knows this, if you're doing something, you need to keep stating it in your current comment because I'm not going to remember 20 comments up what was said or whatever and what's happening. So let's just say you've asked a question, but it's only half of it, and I'll get to it and go, well, what do you mean? You need to virtually say the whole lot again with what you mean. That's just how it's easier for a person like me to govern what's happening in a life. But these things happen. It's okay as well. Uh, thumbs up, everybody. Uh, Ariana, there's another one there. Now she's going to keep uh, poor, um, who, who was translate Sherry Williams busy there? Um, because, I, I mean, I can do it, but I don't want to sit here in a live show and bring up my translator and sit there and translate that. It's just, if it was a member, yes, because members get special treatment. Mary Ham, how often do you paint during the week? Not often at all. When I get the time, I paint. I painted a um, small detailed painting. I want to try and get into some realism paintings for the advanced beginners because a lot of the followers on my channel here are beginners and some of them are reached the point where they need to advance their stages and I'd like to cater for them as well. So instead of just having a video with nothing said, just showing great art, I still want to explain for those advanced beginners what I would do to keep that progression in your art journey. Uh, and it's a lot of building up colours, blocking in and building them up building them up, getting the shadows, getting the distance and everything right. And I'll be explaining that in those videos. But those videos are going to take a lot longer to create, a lot longer to edit because there are, there's a lot more video footage. And the more video footage I have putting into my computer, it takes time to transfer and to upload and put into editing programs. And then when it's edited and to a size, it's got to be compressed and all this sort of stuff. So they're going to take a lot of time, but they're going to be worth it. Uh, they're going to have different intros and all. I do have a little sample here that I can show you, uh, but this is only at its blocking in stage. Uh, but you'll get an idea of what I'm trying to do here. They're going to be very – it's not real looking at the moment, but that's the block in stage. They're only going to be an A4 size, and they'll – if anyone ever wants to buy these, they're going to be painted on a board, not canvas. They're going to be painted on an MDF board, primed in gesso, and painted up so they can be, they're going to be a quality piece of art and they'll be available to purchase as well. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of artists out there that just do wickedly wicked art and they're doing it on good products, good paints, good detail in the work and they're selling it for good money, which is all good and that's what I want to be able to do as well. I don't want to just paint on some cardboard and at the end of the tutorial paint over it and be flippant and then do another one for you. That's not how I operate. I like to put quality into my artwork so it's the same as you. You want to put quality into your artwork when you're learning. You don't want to be flipping about it and you want to keep it. Or if someone wants to buy it, they can buy it. Where are we here? Uh, how often do you paint during the week? So, yeah, not very often, Mary Ham, but when I get time, try I try and do it at least twice a week. Uh, I did do a poll in my YouTube page. If you go to my community tab below, you will see 
scroll down. Do you want me to pay, post a video once a week, free every week or one every day? And I'm glad you all polled out and voted for one a week. But sometimes a bit more creeps in. I'm doing a lot of smaller videos as well, like words of wisdom videos and short outtakes of videos as well. Pretty amazing, says Mary Ham and Laura Lou. Uh, your fabric, each one more beautiful than other. God always praises you. Uh, this is the translation, Ian. Okay, got it, Sherry. I'll tell you what, if you're going to translate it, just to make it easy between you and me, just put a, a, a T at the beginning and then a space and then translate it. That way I'll know it's the translation. Uh, that was from Sherry Williams. Thanks for that, sweetheart. Um, Linda Digley, Dingley, 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 Dingley. Eh? Great painting. Thank you very much, Linda. Uh, Oak Manor, Oak Manor. Sorry I'm late to the party. Mary from California. G'day, Mary. Welcome to the show. That weird guy. I loved your video where you teach your son, Reese how to paint. Oh, that was a long time ago. Very old one. <laughs> that was even in my early days, actually. I've only started painting in 2012. I started painting. And if you go to my videos on my YouTube page, the videos link, and then to the right side, you can... You can order them by newest, popular, and oldest. Go to the oldest, and it'll show you when the first one was put up, about 2012 or 13 or something like that. Tina DeRouse or DeRossi. Hello, everyone from Florida. I'm glad to get to meet you. Thank you for being on my show there, Tina. Good to have you here. I hope you... On my next one. The next one could be either two weeks away from now or I may be thinking about going just once a month because on a YouTube channel, my video, my, let's say my lives, they get so far, then they sit stagnant. And it's not a good thing to have stagnant stuff in your library if you can help it. So getting them up there once a month, getting the views out there, people jumping on it, it'll keep them in the algorithm more better than instead of just some stuff sitting in the background doing nothing. Um, so once again, big shout out to Chastity Roots, Christy Bass, William Kenya, Holly Stringer, Lisa Ziegler, Kathleen Zaban and Marianne Moona. Now these blending brushes are what I use in my paintings. The putter on a brush. That one, I use this to mix up the Brattata and the Craft White, the soft uh, titanium white, and I bomb that onto the canvas on mainly the sky half, get it on there, no mucking around, and then I simply go to the tip of the brush and brush it left and right like a pure gentleman, as little buddy says, or a pure effing gentleman in the bloopers. That gets it on quick. You're not mucking around. Then I might use a fan brush or you can even use a finger, whatever, something to stamp on your cloud. And I use these brushes, a two inch and one and a half inch, and I blend the cloud with turmoil and stamping behavior. They're perfect for blending clouds the way I paint clouds. Now, if you want these brushes, simply message me on Facebook. Links in the description below. They're 45 US dollars, and that covers the cost of the brushes, posting, fees, labeling, and everything to get them to you. I make nothing from these brushes. It's just my way of getting them to you, uh, and that's why they are 45 US dollars. That's what creates the cost. Okay. Um, what's this one here? Uh, where are that weird guy? Uh, I'm trying to uh, the video that made me more subscribe was your first Bob Ross tribute. Um, your technique of translating Bob's oil to acrylics is very in, inform, informative. Would you be interested in doing another tribute? Yes, I can. I just got to look into it. Um, uh, chastity Roots. I use a putter on a brush, 
on almost everything I do now. Yes, I do. I'm going to get back to your question, that weird guy, Mary Ham. I'm looking forward to getting my brushes. Yes, she's ordered some brushes there. Uh, Jerry Powell, I like that idea of limited Fridays, smarty pants. No worries. Uh, yes, now, what what you look, I think it was that, that one there. There's been a few, but like some people might watch an oil artist do a mountain, or let's say a typical mountain. That's a good example. And they might watch the the oil artist has that magic white on there, and they put their finger on there and they show yes, it's wet enough. And then they'll get a knife and they'll scrape on the mountain color and scrape it down and blend it with a brush. And then they'll get the knife and put the white on. That's in oil, that's fine. But if you're painting in acrylic, it's a different behaviour. You can get mountains like that, but you're better off not doing it with a knife. You're better off painting them on the way I show you in that Bob Ross tribute. And if you want to know that video, just simply write in the YouTube search bar, Eganapolis Bob Ross tribute, and it'll come up. If there's a painting you know that I've done, let's say it's the dolphin or an orca or an eagle, you're just not sure, you simply go to the YouTube search bar and type in Ianapolis dolphin or Ianapolis, let's say waterfall, enter. It'll bring up every appropriate video I've done regarding that name in the title and you're bound to find it. If you've, if you've seen one and you think, let's say my stairway to heaven, you just put Ianapolis stairway to heaven, it'll come up. It's that easy. If you know the number, you simply go to the number. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for that, Jerry Powell. Yes, I'm going to start doing that once a month. I'm looking forward to getting my brushes. So, yes, these brushes are available if you want to purchase them. And like I said, a lot of people have bought my art and it's available to buy. Um if you want it, you simply message me. And the good thing about it, they you get a, there's a label with them and it tells you what YouTube video tutorial it was. So let's say later on down the track you might think you got nothing to do one Sunday and you're looking at the painting on the wall and you think, you know what, I want to see how that was created. So you turn it over or look at the label that came with it and you go to that Ianapolis, boom, put that title in the YouTube search bar and you can watch that painting stroke for stroke being created once again, take you back down nostalgia. There's always something. Now, I always like to ask people, if you're new here, if you're watching the replay, how did you discover my channel and what was it that you liked about me, okay? And simply, if you don't like what I'm doing or you don't like anything about what I'm doing, don't tell me, tell everybody, not me, okay? Cinnamon, when you use a retarder or slow dry additive to your acrylic paints, does that make the acrylic behave more like oils for a wet on wet painting? For the skies it does, it's beautiful. I'll just show you an example of a sky that I've done with the, um, this was a tutorial. Um Where's that one there? What's this one here? Hang on a minute. I'm just, I'll keep talking so it doesn't sound so rude. Now, this cloud, this was the little outtake I did of the cloud. Now, if you look at the, let me get this focused right. I'll see, if, if you look at the cloud, I just got to look at the monitor to see if it's going to focus. Now, if you look at that cloud, right, that's done with the retarder, okay? You can see to the left how the brush was able to, this brush here, was just able to smear it like oil. That's what, oh, I'm looking at so many different things here. That's how um, it, it, it makes it act like oils, the skies. It's beautiful. Uh, sometimes I will put it into the water half, but nine times out of ten, knowing how quick or slow I'm going to be, I might use it or I might not. Now, when I'm doing a sky with the retarded paint underneath it, where you're putting a land mass like this, I would leave that blanked out because I'm filming and I'm doing it straight away. I need to be able to paint that on there. And if I've got this stuff underneath it, you can be digging into it and it just causes you grief. I know that because I've learned by experience, okay? And I can only answer these questions because... Uh, it's what's happened for me, and I know how it works um, when you use retarder. So I hope that answered your question, Cinnamon. Sherry Williams, 18 people watching should be 18 thumbs up. 
Yes, there's 22 thumbs up, 25 people watching now. Uh, Nezi Perez, g'day, welcome. Jerry Powell, 26 people watching. Ariana Mariana Bereza is from India. Welcome from India. Adriana, not Ariana, Adriana. Sherry Williams, Jerry Powell, lol, was 18 when I typed it. Okay, I'm um, coming up to the end of the show soon, so if you have any more reactions and questions and banter we can get going with this show, get it up there because this show is all about me reacting with what's happening in the comments there, okay? I don't have a set schedule of what to say. I can only say what comes through during the week, the questions, the support, your questions here, the hellos, the shout-outs to everybody. There's 24 people there. I'm sure a few people haven't come forward and said who's in the show. Come forward and say hello and just tell me where you're from. What else is there that I can probably get out? Um, uh, I'm not sure. But anyway, my art group is some people... They haven't done it lately, which is good, but some new people bombard my messenger with photos of what they're doing. If you're watching this replay and you want to send me a picture of your art, simply join my art group. Links in the description below, Ianapolis Art Network, I-A-N, Ianapolis Art Network. That's where the name came from. Uh, I've got that, um, me and a good friend of mine, Mark Babbitt sorted that out. He was the first member of my art group, Mark Babbitt, and he's got his own art group called Iron Decoit. I think it's Iron Decoit, something like that anyway. Yes, check him out as well. Uh, so thank you for that help in the beginning there, Mark. I like, I never forget people. Um, so, yeah, and you become a member. Say you met me on YouTube because you, there are some questions to answer, and if you've just had a... Facebook page it was created weeks or hours ago, you're just simply not going to get in. Uh, say you saw me on YouTube, answer the questions that way, and then that's where you put your art and tag me in and say, Ian, I've done this, what do you think, or blah, blah, blah. That's how you how that works. Uh, Happy New Year, says Linda Campbell. Uh, not India, Ian. Translation is beautiful. Okay. Oh, that, that says Linda. Oh, uh, Lin Linda. Oh, okay. Thank you for that, Sherry. Good thing we got Sherry on board here today. I'm telling you right now. Suzanne Chambers cruises from Washington State. Linda Chamberlain. Hello from Quebec. That weird guy. Your Steve the Cat painting was great. It's probably one of my favourite. That one and the dolphin are my favourites. Probably Steve's hitting the favourite. Would you be interested in making an updated painting with all of your cats? I hear what you're saying, but there's one there. One's enough. Um, just so I don't sound flippant or arrogant, arrogant um, uh, for me to produce one of my videos the way they're produced now, it's a lot of work, time and effort. And for me to put them on there, it's all about getting the views. And I learn by mistakes as well. Some videos view better than others. Some subjects view better than others. But if there's already, let's say my cat, there's already one cat there. People can do that, but just change the colours up. I don't need to put different ones of a cat there because it just doesn't get out there enough. I know this from experience, okay, of my channel. So I'm just not being flipping about it. Uh, Mary Ham, I have watched many of your tutorials, have only painted one of them so far. Well, Mary Ham, hopefully to see more of your stuff in my art group. Mary Ham, big cyber hugs and kisses to you, sweetheart. Thank you very much for your super chat donation. Laura Lou, member for two months at the Ianapolis Army. Uh, too busy for my bucket list is filling. Thank you. Too busy, and my bucket list is filling. Thank you, says uh, Laura Lou. Okay. Um, you must have a good razor there, Laura. That's all I can say. <laughs> um, where else are we? I'm just about getting ready to close up. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that a good bit before so people get the chance to quickly come in and give me some more stuff to feed it up with. Linda Chamberlain, can you show us how to paint 
fur of a dog. Well, like we were just talking about Steve the cat, that's pretty much the only fur I've done. I have done a wolf, a pretty realistic looking wolf actually, and that is tutorial number. See, I don't even know. So what I'm going to do is simply type in the YouTube search bar, Ianapolis uh, space, and then wolf, enter it. And then there it is there. It's tutorial number 146. So you just type in 146 Eganapolis. I've done some fur. It's like an Alaskan Malamute, but it's the wolf. It's a wolf's head that's black and white with the moon in the background. There's that one there. Or you can simply use Steve the Cat's video, but instead of painting a cat, you're painting a dog. That's all I've done with furs. I will... Eventually, like I said, when I'm not so busy, excuse me, um, do one just solely on fur. I've got to do that. I've got to get around to it. But I've got to look into it. Every painting I do, it's the first time I'm painting it. I'm not sitting down painting it, working out how to paint it, and then film it. Some people do that. I just simply, the time use watching that tutorial is the first time I'm painting it. So if I make mistakes, I make mistakes. Hello from Lakeland, Florida. Laura Lou saying, yeah. Um, Susan Chambers, are you going to be on at this time in two weeks? My time would be five Washington State on Friday. It's, it's pretty much Friday evening on um, the American time, but it's once a month. So it'll be this time in about four weeks. I will post something in my art group if I'm going to come earlier, but it'll be once a month. Uh, so become a member of my art group and you'll be updated there with my movements on YouTube. Uh, let me check there. That's pretty much it. Nothing more is coming in. Uh, my next video will be out in a couple of days. It's a beautiful, well, if you're a patron, you already know what's coming up next. They're in order. When I post the the thumb, the picture of the painting in uh, Patreon there, let's just say I posted this one. And then let's just say I posted one of a hand. And then let's say I posted one of a hat. Well, this one is going to come out first. Then, you know, the hand's going to be the next one coming out. Then the hat... It, not, but I'm not doing one of a hand or a hat. I'm just using that as an example. Uh, so if you're a patron, you get to see what's coming out. And what I do for the patrons as well, I'll sit here and edit a video. And once it's edited, I upload it onto YouTube. So it's already conditioned itself and it's already at high quality um, rendering. And it's set to unlisted. But I only open it for the patrons. So they get to see it straight away before it's released. And all by the time it's released, it could be weeks to a month, I finally open it up as a premiere on YouTube. And if you're not familiar with premieres, I'm, I'm release my videos now as a premiere on the spot. Sometimes I could go and open a video up for this time next week and it'll be counting down until up to next week. But what I do, I go into the, my YouTube channel there. I Instead of just uploading it for everyone to see, I upload it as an instant premiere. So it'll have a minute and something countdown. And that's letting people get into the room. It's building up the suspense. And then we have a live chat bar like this only in the first off of the premiere. And I'm in that room and you can chat with me as the premiere is playing. After that first airing, then it's just a normal replay of a video on YouTube there. Uh, Chucky, black scraping Oh, back scraping the bristles of a tooth to create snow. What would you use to make rain? Um, I've done one. It was just in the distance, but this cloud here, I simply had the brush when it was still wet and just pulled down some rain. Now, um, that is in video uh, number... I'm going to type in Ianapolis Windmill because I know I did it in that painting there. There are very little. That's number 369. I've pulled the brush down, but I've never really painted rain. You, you very rarely see it unless it's a close-up. Um, so, yeah, other than that, I haven't painted rain. Um
but you could probably get some on and use a wide enough brush to pull it upwards not downwards i know your rain comes down but don't pull it down pull it upwards that way it'll give the downward movement of the rain you're looking for uh back to scraping read that one linda chamberlain g'day linda chamberlain again i love your accent thank you very much uh, that weird guy goodbye ian and everyone i have to leave for my hockey game good to have you here that weird guy thank you for answering all my dumb questions they're not dumb questions all questions need to be answered we're all learning in life so don't be afraid of learning don't be afraid of learning um Ian, haha, ha, keep those awesome paintings coming, Mr. Ianapolis. Thank you very much, and I will. Sherry Williams, rain sounds like another good one for a dry brush. Yes, it would be, because you'd want your background dry so you're not going to smear it all. Uh, that weird guy, I love this community. Great community to be in as well. Uh, did I thank Laura Lou? Uh, Mary Ham, thank you everyone who gave Super Chat donations in this live feed today, much appreciated. Uh, Cinnamon and Chastity Roots. Oh, Cinnamons is uh, welcome to, and th those people who joined the um, members, thank you very much. You do get the badge next to your name, so I know who members are, like Mary Ham, thanks for answering all my questions. Like sometimes when I do a live painting, I'm not there answering questions like I am now. But if I see a member, I'll quickly say, G'day, Mary Ann. Welcome to the live show. And I'll keep painting. That's one of the other perks you get for being a member as well. You get the badges and emojis, and you get one on one video calls. Just check out in the community tab what your perks are and take advantage of them and use them. And if you're in there, if you're asking me anything in Messenger or wherever, always let me know because only on Facebook. YouTube, I get to see you're a member, but on Facebook, I won't. So let me know you're a member on my YouTube channel, and hence I will understand why you're taking advantage of the perks there, okay? Great show, lots of good questions. Yes, it was, Sherry. Uh, Eileen Karouse, g'day, Eileen. Hello, everyone. Very late. I waited with bated breath last night, and it's on now instead. Yes, it's on every Saturday mornings now, once a month every Saturday mornings. It's been the Saturday mornings for the last three shows, I th think, Eileen, because uh, the the other side of the country, of the world, has changed their clocks, and the majority of my audience is there, and it's easier for me to do it this way for this time of the year as well. If it changes, I will let you know. Uh, lots of great questions. Uh, Linda Chamberlain, how long did it take you to like your own painting when you started? Yeah, it took me. Um, some of them was okay. Some of them were just like want to throw them away. But I learned the ones that I wanted to throw away, I kept and I kept looking at them. And then it gives you the opportunity to analyse and adjust what you were doing for your next one. So, yeah, everyone's different, but, yeah, it did take me a bit. I, I can't say exactly how long, but let's just say I didn't realise there was a beginning stage where I had to practise. I just thought I want to learn to paint. Oh, he's painting a cloud, so you've got to paint a cloud into a painting. You want to do a painting. But I realise now, let's just say here's a painting, right? Look at the subjects. You've got the sky, the cloud, the, the mid-ground, the water, the stick in there. If you're going to have other things, if that's the sort of stuff you want to paint or whatever, whatever, practice those subjects. Practice them and practice them. So when you grab a good quality canvas, you know you're not going to waste it and you can put them together in a painting. But most of us just want to do a painting full steam ahead. We want us run before we can walk. But now that I know that, I try and tell that to everyone that follows my art journey and my channel here, practice procedures before putting it into a painting and don't be in such a rush. Uh, Kelly, great tips and techniques for people. Thank you for your advice, Ian. Thank you very much. Well, listen, I'm going to wrap this up now. I've got to run myself. So I'll see you in my next Friday Night Live. Keep a lookout for the advertisement post in my uh, Facebook page there. And be sure to tell your friends if you like what I'm doing. But if you don't like what I'm doing, you tell everybody, all right? Goodbye, good luck, and good on you.